y'all, what's up? It's Kayla, you know I'm back with another video. And in this video, I will be giving you guys the best advice for clothing brand owners in 2024. As you guys can see, I'm wearing my own clothing brand, you know, that King's Play Drip. And right now I'm in Atlanta, so I'm gonna take you guys with me along the way. I actually just met up with another huge influencer from Atlanta, um, Casper. And we just did some content for my clothing brand. So that actually, that's actually tip number one, y'all, for 2024. Get them influencers in your brand. Get that content of them in your brand. Do what you gotta do. Because if nobody sees people wearing your brand and important people, then it's just like, no one's gonna really feel the urgency to have your brand. Another clothing brand owner is pulling up on us right now. Seven out my thing with your bitch. Chasing the hundred billion, that's the stuff again. We had a production house right now, but. This is just another key for y'all to understand that. Invest in your production, invest in your marketing. That's just the first thing I'm gonna touch on. Vlog. Everyone know, man. What's up? I know what popping. Is that a fake house? All right, y'all, so. Tips for clothing brand owners in 2024. A lot of y'all probably wondering how to get your brand to the next level in 2024. Probably wondering why you're not getting no sales? Why people are visiting your website and not purchasing? Well, I'm here to give you guys the tips that you guys need for this year to blow your clothing brand or even your online business up this year. A big mistake that I realize people are making a lot are people literally have a drop planned um, for let's say the date, February 14th. And prior to that drop, people are not posting. And even if you are posting, it really goes into what you are captioning your post and what type of post you are putting out prior to your drop. You need to be at least posting four to three posts before you drop your official drop, right? You want to make sure that you're posting on your story every single day. You want to make sure that you're doing these things to help your business get out there. People are not going to remember that you dropped on February 14th if they don't sign up for your SMS, you know, notification or SMS marketing um, group. People need these reminders. And I realized that me posting multiple times on my page, not just posting, hey, coming up February 14th, no, actually putting some detailed captions, letting people know the time, the date, uh, the details of the product, things like that, helped my brand a lot get the sales when it was time for the drop day. So going back into what I was saying is being consistent with your social medias. A lot of people are so afraid to post not realizing that the more you post and alert your audience and alert your customers that you are dropping, the better it will be for your business. Simple as that. Not only that, I will mention this. I am actually working on getting more influencers into my brand because it will help give my brand more credibility and also bring more hype to the brand. Honestly, having a clothing brand, what do you guys know about denim tears? I'm pretty sure y'all never knew what denim tears was literally until 2023, if not 2024. Why is denim tears so popular? They probably made it their mission to make sure that everybody's wearing their brand. Although Kanye been wearing denim tears, I feel like since like 2020. And now that the world has caught on, look how big they're blowing up. Literally crazy. So that just goes into show when people see other people wearing your brand, that helps your brand. Like, come on now, if you see Drake wearing someone's brand, you're gonna be like, what is he wearing? Now let's say you have three big YouTubers wearing your brands and you put those clips together or post it on your page or get post their picture, that's gonna help your brand. Like their supporters are gonna wanna shop with you. People are realizing, okay, their brand's going up. They have this big influencer wearing it. Like their brand's going up. I gotta shop with them. I gotta get one. I gotta get my hands on that jacket or those track pants, whatever it may be. So I feel like if you are a brand owner or even a business owner, this can help a lot of business owners. Um, even though I'm talking more of a clothing brand sense, this can help a lot of business owners for 2024. Getting influencers into your products. Put some more effort into that because I know a lot of these influencers are opening up their PO boxes, but when you send these products, make sure that you are putting at least a little note in there, letting them know, hey, this is my Instagram, or even leaving a note saying that you will pay them to post in your brand. So they probably can message you on Instagram and be like, hey, let's get that promo going. Because a lot of people will get a lot of things in their PO box, but are they really gonna post your brand picture unless you already bought a promo from them? And don't be afraid to invest into promos, guys. A lot of people are just so cheap with their business and expect, and expect it to go like off. It just really blows my mind. You got, in business, you, you, gotta, you gotta pay. You gotta, nothing's free. And if you get lucky and have a big influencer where your company, you are blessed. 
But if you want to just get to the point, don't be afraid of investing into your brand and getting somebody to wear it. Pay the extra $100, pay $50 for that influencer to post it on their page, pay for promos. And every time I say this, people still just overlook it and not listen to me, but I'm telling you guys, just pay, get your brand out there. If no one's gonna find your brand, you gotta figure out a way to get it out there and use other people's audience, which I call OPA, other people's audience to get your business out there on social media. So if y'all were listening and are taking notes, you guys will know that it's really simple. It's three things, right? It's consistency is number one. Forgetting to post before your drops and just being on top of your drops, like not forgetting nothing, like let's, focus on being on top of our stuff guys in 2024 like let's not wait till drop day to let people know that we're dropping let's not rely on just our story rely on your page rely on posting rely on reels let's get into the habit of getting used to and comfortable with posting on instagram so it becomes natural to you number two now getting influencers in your brand i've been seeing this work for a lot of businesses and also build a lot of relevance around businesses that are just coming up i've seen businesses go from literally zero to six figures because of them using pretty big influencers in the game of youtube or tiktok wear their brand so please guys look into investing into some influencers wearing your brand and of course like i always say number three is promo investing into promos getting those shout outs to p of people to post your brand getting influencers to post their your brand on not just their story but even trying to push for a page post to get some more followers for yourself or even sales on your drop day um, another thing i will say y'all is boosting your instagram posts um, will help you guys a lot make sure that you guys are spreading it out throughout the week um, maybe do two posts throughout the week for your business page just so you have two things running at the same time and you can get some more looks and eyes on different content that you have posted y'all know i don't like to spend so much time um just talking about nonsense no i like to get to the point keep it clean short and simple and let you guys know if you want to get your business to the next level in 2024 especially your clothing brand or your online business you should be doing these four things that i listed 100 percent, you will see results you will start growing and you will start building a lot, a lot of relevance around your company. I also want to add this. A lot of you guys probably don't have a lot of followers and you're probably wondering, how can I get some more support? How can I get some more sales? And I remember when I started my brand, I used to get 11 likes on my photos. And I will say this, you cannot depend on people from your hometown to blow you up or make you rich. Strangers will make you rich. Strangers are going to repost your brand. There's 8 billion people in the world and there's probably... 200 people in your contact list or even 50 people you probably have cousins and, and brothers or siblings but you need a market to the world you gotta get past your city you gotta get to the world after struggling for a lot of time to build my own brand i wanted to make it easier for other people to build their brands i created a free business community for people to join introduce themselves, make new connections with other business owners on the same path as them. It doesn't matter what business you guys do. It doesn't matter if you sell hair, lashes, contacts, glasses, deodorant. I don't care, clothes. I don't care what you sell, guys. Get in the chat, let's network, and let's help each other build each other's brands up. In the chat, we have over 1,700 members that will follow you, support you, and even shop with your company if you do have some pretty fire stuff. I also do catch up giveaways for the chat as well every single Friday. We will be reaching 2,000 members soon, so you want to make sure that you're in there for the next giveaway, which is going to be the base of them all. Can't wait to meet you if you do get in there. And I just want to say this, your environment plays a huge role in everything that you do, and you need to make sure that you're surrounding yourself with people that are on the same goal and path and journey as you, so you're not distracted by the environment around you. Strangers will make you rich, and your network is your net worth. Get in the chat. It's completely free. Hit me up on Telegram right now. Just send me a message, an emoji, anything. I will let you guys into the chat for free. And you guys get to meet my other members in there, me and my other clients. And we will follow you, support you, and comment on your pictures when you do drop, of course, your posts, etc. If you have some fire stuff, we will shop with you. So it's free. And you're actually setting yourself back by not joining because who doesn't like free stuff? And who doesn't want to put themselves in a community full of growth? I'm looking out for the people because I know how it feels when you don't have a large platform so let's help each other grow anyways now that we got that out the way you better have joined before i continue but anyways so i just want to say thank you so much for watching i'm on the road to 10,000 subscribers i'm really excited to do this and i would love to meet you guys as well so if you guys also want to be inside 
the business chat. Go ahead and join Telegram right here, Kayla Perilla. I also do have my business course, my number one business course out right now. And I have a lot of great reviews if you guys want to look into that and get your business started and going if you don't know where to start or you don't know where to get vendors, you don't know how to even start a business, you don't know a lot of things about business and you want to get started, you want to start your business for 2024, go ahead and join my Let's Start a Business slash Brand course inside the description of this video. It's on sale right now, so make sure that you guys secure it. And I can't wait to meet you guys. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching.